Florida International University's Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine is preparing its class of 2013 to improve the quality of health care available to the South Florida community. These 21st century physicians will be trained to serve South Florida's diverse population through a patient-centered curriculum. Before this first class engages with the local community, a survey of more than 2,200 people from Miami Gardens and Opelika was taken by the Division of Research, Data, and Information. For these community interviewers, trained by Dr. Juan Acuna, this has been an education in and of itself. <laughs> we took these 2021-2021 uh, 20, uh, community members and we trained them for five weeks full time. It was a paid training and in that training we, we went through very technical issues regarding survey and survey design. These, these guys came for a job and ended up being passionate about uh, the job that they were uh, going to perform. They started seeing so many stories in, this, in these households that they ended up building a lot of empathy. It was very, very exciting sometimes, very, very interesting and very, very overwhelming at times because some people you go into their homes, you, you have so much fun with them and it's just like, wow. And some people you come out like you feel like you want to cry. Certain areas that we go in, if you look at the areas, you would not want to go and knock on the door, you know. But um, you never know that particular home, you know, we could make a difference. We could make a difference. We randomly select 2,200 households and we got 80% response rate, which is very, very unique in this type of survey in, in communities that are not easy to access. We don't just go in and ex assuming we know what, what they need. We actually want to hear what the community need and that's what we exactly what we told them. We want to know which, you know, what you guys are lacking, what, what changes you would like to see done. Most of the people that I have interviewed that have um, postponed a medical um, issue was because of cost. That was prevalent. Everyone who did not seek medical attention to a problem they needed to get taken care of was because of um, lack of health insurance or because they just could not afford it. I have a neurologist, but I cannot afford to see her. I am not on any of the beta interferon um, drugs because MS is um, still not curable and they're still investigating how they can abate uh, the disease. I have to facilitate what I can afford, which is uh, how I eat. Um, I really focus on my diet and eating properly and taking my vitamins and uh, meditation and uh, prayer. People are suffering, but they have suffered for so long that they got to, they got used to their suffering. And if you don't ask the proper question, you would have never known. We go to this particular question, we usually ask, how satisfied are you with your life? When we asked her that question, she, she stopped and it took her like a while. Then she started crying. Uh, she said that uh, she had like three kids, um, she was on food stamps. It's like um, trying to get a job will even stop her from getting the food stamp if she eventually got a job. But the prospect of getting a very, you know, high paying job was very low. So she had to like basically survive on food stamps. She cried and um, it's so unfortunate that we, all we could do was just to hug her, you know, embrace her, you know, just going to be okay. We couldn't do anything else. You know, it feels like I'm right in Haiti, some of the neighborhoods. Um, these people pay taxes and who are, who's watching out for these people? So, so this was the first real down-to-earth, street-level, common people experience that the college had and it happened in a massive way. The interviewers, they felt uh, I, I, I can be part of the solution. I, I can really help. It's a life-changing experience. Um, you go home, you feel good. I mean, although I can't directly do something for them, but there's a, you know, it's just, just doing this interview with you alone, um, that's a voice for someone living in that community. And that's a touching experience within itself. I think if they um, 
put their medical students out and do the community-based medicine and really focus on preventive medicine and how to really change the mindset of people, not only in, with preventive medicine, but also telling them that you know, there's, gonna, there's opportunities out there, you, know, you have to educate yourself and really focus on that, being that FIU is a university. Communities that are informed these days, uh, especially in times of crisis, are communities that perform better, uh, create new opportunities for community members, and overall have better lives and better health. FIU College of Medicine is, is doing the right thing, is reinventing the way that we take resources that has always only been uh, targeted towards educating people, and we target them to build better communities while educating students. That is very novel, and I think that is part of, of a real, real new health reform. All we need is more students and, you know, get it going, and so they can get to all the houses that they, that they need to, so that the community can, be, can feel that, yes, FIU did come to the community and is making a difference. And I, I, I believe it. I believe they will.